Moving forward to our final technique, fighting for the defense position, we are going to come back one more time and look at the tight waist mistake. So we're training at the highest standard we can, but people will make this mistake. So remember, anytime you don't have the tight waist, you can do your short sit out here, take the arm and put it back. We're going to skip that because we know what the short sit out is by now. We know how to put the arm over that. So we're going to skip that part and just go right to that positioning. That's what I'm doing. When I say I'm going to the tight waist, we're assuming that I've done the sh short sit out or where it was necessary to get my hand over here and move on if they didn't already put their hand there. So here I am down and I'm going to go from a turtle this time. Same things, guys. It doesn't matter. If I go from here to move my base, it's not going to be any different than here. It's just the hand moves instead of the forearm. I'll move my forearm on this one. You'll see what I mean. So if he did a leg pry, let's just go through it. If he started here and I'm down here for me to do my short sit out, I would simply go here, grab his weight, his wrist, sit, put it there, and snap back. And this is where we're starting from, right here. His hand is in a tight waist position. So we're going to skip that for now because we know how to do it. So starting down here, in my turtle position, he has a tight waist. We've gone to this part where it's already here. Now, I'm going to grab it with the other hand this time. But before I grab with this hand, the same principles apply. I need to move my base. So down here protecting my gaps, this arm, the outside arm, is going to come across. I stack my forearms right on top of each other. This hand on the inside comes down, secures his wrist here. I'm going to pull my forearm underneath my abdomen, tight into my thigh, and put my weight on it. That arm will no longer come out. It's trapped. Now look at my knee work here. I'm going to align my body because I'm kind of crooked right now. I'm like this. I need to align myself. So my right knee is going to come in to here. All my weight is here. I come down, kick this left leg straight back. So my left leg is straight back. I've created a space for me to make this sweep happen. My left leg is kicked back. His arm is trapped. My base is up here. You can even rest your head on your forearm if you want. It makes it a little bit easier. But watch my right knee on this move. My right knee goes from here. I lift it up and post it in. And then roll. What I don't want to do on this, come back down. What I don't want to do, guys, I've already gotten to this position. This is tight, this is here, the knee's in. We don't want to just flop to our side like this. I don't want to do that. I've got to throw my knee underneath him. I've got to get him up on top of me. So from this position, <coughs> I've gotten the wrist. It's pinned across. I've moved my body over to here. The knee comes in. This one kicks back. I push off my forearm and my foot lift up, fold in. He'll go straight over. Okay. Now, we're going to move to a different position this time. I've got his wrist here. This elbow is going to pull straight into his neck, down hard. Walk around a little bit, pull this up, throw the right knee under. Hook the head. I can either pad, or padlock the leg here or go here, slide down, elbow control. It's a transition. Transitions are super important. We're also most vulnerable in our transitions, but this is where we're going to get to. We'll show you some missions in here in a minute, but when I get this good. Okay, come back. So let's do the whole thing again. <coughs> so I'm down in a turtle, guys. And again, he's tight wasting, but we know how to do a short sit out. So we're just skipping that because I know you guys should know that by now. So he's not here. I've already either sat out, done whatever to get him here, or he started here. I'm down in my turtle. I move my frame, my base, to here, protecting my neck. Priority two. Priority one is control. Number two is protecting your neck. I post. Come back, grab his wrist with my outside arm, or actually inside arm, I'm sorry. Grab his wrist, pull tight, in here, crunch down. Now I align my spine. Right knee comes in, left leg comes back. I'm gonna lift my right knee up and put it inside to roll him over. Now, this elbow goes into his neck, I push off, pull the arm, drive the knee. Set my base, come under here. You can padlock, that's okay. Our typical one is driven, driving here and coming under. When we get to this position, our typical head and arm should be pulling here, I'm squeezing above the bones. This leg is my jack leg. It drives up, not over. Look at how the skeleton is aligned. My bones is pushing this way. I can't push this way with this leg effectively, but this one, I can. It's a little slippery because I'm sweating my butt off, but that'll give me enough to drive into him without pulling over while this leg lifts my butt off the ground a little bit. Now I'm into his ribs. Okay? The submissions that we want to focus on from here, we've got a unicorn and a sunrise crank. Both of them are great neck cranks. If his arm is here, when I finish this, 
where it gets loose here, all I'm going to do is come under here, S grip, cutting bone up on the one that goes around his head. I'm going to pull my head, my face, down to my hands. Here. I'm not going head to head on him. I'm going down to my own hands and keeping it tight. Here. My butt comes up. I sit out away. Away from him, perpendicular. I'm not sitting out this way. Throwing my hips out this way to put weight on. I come out this way, and then I rotate his center line. His spine is how I'm rotating. So I'm rotating my body this way, down center line with his spine. So I've got everything locked up, pull tight into my head, I sit out, and I rotate down for the first one. And that's your sunrise. I'm sorry, that's your, your unicorn. His arms up, kind of like a mythical creature. Right? Second one, if I don't have that, and it stays here, this is my personal favorite neck crank in this position. Okay? Look where my arm is. Whether it's padlocked here or not, or it's here, it's very easy to take your arm out here. Palm up, palm up down here. My arm is going 45 across the back of Dale's head. Not 90, but 45. Okay? My other hand is going to come across over the top. S grip. Now I pull him into my chest and pull my arms down to my head. Pull tight, sit out, and then rotate center line down his spine. I'm trying to keep his shoulders pinned on that the whole way. So let's put it all together. I'm down going turtle. We've already gotten to the tight waist. I move my frame into him. Post, forearm on top of forearm, protecting my neck. Grab the wrist, pull it in, trap it. Move my knee, kick back, fold it, rolling, elbow into the neck. Pull the arm, throw the leg underneath it. Set your base. Scoop the head to either a padlock or typical or traditional catch style. Right here to the femoral on his shoulder. Come down, pull up. Okay? If the arm is here, we go unicorn. S grip. This one around his head, cutting bone up. Don't put your head on his, put your hands on your face. Here. I squeeze tight, sit up, and rotate. Up. Second one. His arms around my body, like we landed the first time. Bottom hand is palm up. It goes 45 across the back of his head, not 90, 45. S grip comes over the top, okay? Elbow stays up, but I pull everything in. Sit out tight and rotate down center line, keeping his shoulders pinned for the sunrise crank.